What's happening, everyone? I'm Kevin with Robertson's Power and Sports. Today, I want to talk to you about a bulletin that Skidoo just released uh, regarding 2022 Skidoo 900 H Turbo R's possibly not reaching full RPMs. Now, throughout the course of this uh, past snowmobile season, we've had uh, a few customers reach out to us and ask us, hey, it seems like my machine's only turning 7,500 RPMs or 7,600 RPMs and you know they're not they don't feel like they're getting the full performance of full power out of their machine uh, we had looked into this a little bit talked with the people at brp and one of the issues was um, that the tps or the throttle position sensor wasn't learned from the factory and what that means is it wasn't uh, properly set so you could literally hold the throttle wide open but the computer only sees it being open as maybe 85%, 89%. And at wide open throttle, we want to see that as 100% opening. So um, if, they're not, if the computer's not seeing it open at 100%, you're never going to get full performance out of the machine. Um, so on a few machines that we uh, had brought back in, we put them on the computer, we did find out that um, the TPS was not learned. We went ahead and we reset it all to factory specs and now... Um, those machines are turning the RPMs that they should. Um, so in conjunction with that, Skidoo just put out a bulletin yesterday, again, talking about that 900 Turbo R possibly not reaching full RPMs. Uh, so there's three possibilities for it not pulling RPMs. And one is the uh, ETC or the TPS needs to be reset, which we just talked about or the ETS or TPS reset and throttle cable adjustment. So throttle cable free play is important with this as well. And then also uh, the P drive spring in your drive clutch, that needs to be changed. So um, the solution to this is if you are experiencing, um, you know, you, you feel like you're not getting peak RPMs out of that 900 Turbo R and, um, you know, call your dealer. There is a solution out there for it. Uh, and this is right from BRP. They're, they're saying that to avoid working on the unit multiple times and that the customer does not need to return multiple times, we will automatically do an ETC TPS reset and throttle cable adjustment and replace the P drive spring from a 17300 to a, a 17400. Um, so again, if you're experiencing this problem, contact your local dealer. Um, Tell them that, you know, if, if they haven't heard of this, this, this just came out uh, yesterday and today is the April 7th. So it came out on April 6th. Um, so just let them know that that came out and we'll go ahead and uh, get that update taken care of for you. That way there you're getting full performance out of your machine. Hope this video helped you. If you have any questions at all, give me a call at 207-324-5502. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.